Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys what I got during the Black Friday sale and Cyber Monday sale. Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale. I know it's been a while since the Black Friday sales, like it's already like almost Christmas right now. But you know, I've been busy with school like always so now i'm already like almost done with my research and everything like i done my final presentation and alhamdulillah everything went well so now i'm just correcting my thesis paper so since i'm just correcting it now i don't i'm not that busy anymore but it's only for a while because I will be starting my internship on 9 January and I have to be there on 6 January so until then until I start my internship I'll be free I hope so <laughs> and so that's why I haven't been uploading because I've been busy with school like seriously I've been busy with school like so much I stay like I stay at school from morning till night and I also went to school on the weekend and most of the time I only ate instant noodle for my dinner every night in my lab like that's how busy I was but alhamdulillah everything is done now and you know we can play with the fun stuff now so for today's video I'm going to show you guys all of this stuff here that I got during the sale I actually got some more stuff in front of me right now but I'm going to save all of like the other stuff for like my other video because if I unbox everything I think that this video will be too long and I also have to go out after this to have dinner with my friend in another two hours so I have to done with everything in two hours so I think yeah enough with the rambling let's get started um I'm not really sure which one should I go first I'm just going to pick it up randomly and I'm going to start with this one I already opened it so that you know this video doesn't take too long but I haven't um, used it at all it is from the skin the Nevia I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this brand but this is the OG of setting spray like the OG OG of setting spray and by the way I don't know if you guys know but if you guys have the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, like I love this one. I'm not sure if you guys know, but the Urban Decay Setting Spray are actually made from Skin Denevia. <sighs> Please focus. Yeah, you can see here they are made from Skin Denevia. So, Skin Denevia is the OG, guys, the OG of setting spray. I've been wanting to try this for. The longest time like seriously and this is how the package looks like so I actually bought two setting spray um, yeah. I bought it when they are having a 30% off sale so I got this two for 30% off and then they also give this two like sample size spray for free so they gave a sample size of their primer spray and then the finishing makeup finishing spray this one is the original one the one that i bought like i bought like two one is like the bigger size and this one is a normal size the bigger size that i bought is the all control spray and this one is the bridal spray and i bought this one because i heard that this is like the best selling spray like it is so famous like according to all the review that i see a lot of people rave about the bridal one so that's why i bought it because i wanted to try and see what the rev is all about but i bought the big size in all control because i have a really really oily skin so i need a spray to control my oil so that's why i bought this too i didn't pay for any international shipping or custom tax anything like that so yeah i'll keep you guys updated whether i like this one more than the urban decay all nighter spray or not but i really have high hope for this because a lot of people love this so yeah the next one is from Key Australia so they are having this deal where if you spend $75 and above you can get a free um, high key in silver this one you can get this high key in silver for free and this one retail for $65 okay and you get it for free like duh of course 
I immediately like place my order because I really really do love the high key style because I think it's perfect for my like face shape because I have a really round face and I love a really really big aviator and I it's hard to find a big aviator that suit my face shape so that's why I have been really loving the high key style because for me it's just perfect and before this I purchased two of the high key already I got the one by the way this is their like old packaging um, because I got it when it first released so I got the one in gold and then I also on the black one like just a normal black this time I got the high key in silver for free this is their new packaging it is like a clear plastic case so I got this silver one for free like for me it is a really really good deal like you get a $65 sunnies for free that's a deal like this for me it's a really really good deal and I don't know why but in the camera right now it looks like this sunnies is like a black sunnies but in real life it is really reflectively silver and I love it I just think that it suits my face shape so well so I'm so happy that I got it for free. Like, who doesn't love free stuff? Who doesn't? So, this is the new case. And the one that I bought is, is also the Daisy Her Kitten collection because I just love her so much. And I love her sense of style the most. Like, like for me, her style, her body, and like everything is like just a goal like my goal okay like i want to look like her if only i got her body <laughs> by the way this is the one that i got i bought the sahara olive one and i love this like oh my god it it does like the shape is similar with high key which is a large aviator which i love but the sahara collection is not reflective it is like kind of clear a little bit and I oh my god I love this like <laughs> do I need to say anything more like like can you guys just see how stunning this sun is look like like mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I love this sun is like like seriously the only sun is that I use is the Daisy Perkins sunnies because they're good okay so this one retail for $65 too so in order for my purchase to be like $75 or more I bought this sunny case it's just a normal sunny case and I think it is so cute like don't you guys think it's cute because I do think it is cute and I think it's retail for $12 or $10 12 I think 12 so it is like a cool case to put my sunnies inside my handbag because I always bring my sunnies whenever I go out because sometimes I just want to hide my face <laughs> so me and my friend who are still deciding where to go eat for dinner tonight it is like the hardest decision ever where to eat like okay so for the next product I want to show you is from morphe so i didn't bought a lot of stuff from morphe i just bought like three four stuff from morphe for morphe they are having like 25 percent off discount something like that but their international shipping is so so expensive so me and my friend like me and my like three other friends we like share shipping together like we place an order together and then we like divide the international shipping because the international shipping is so expensive like before this i ordered some stuff from morphe like last year like earlier this year but now i realized that the international shipping rate is becoming more expensive and it is flat rate so it is not depend on your the weight of the item that you bought so if you only buy like one sponge you will still need to pay the same amount of international shipping i don't know why but it is much more expensive than it is before so that's why me and my friend like share shipping together oh my god because even though the price of the item is cheap 
their international shipping is expensive so if you can if you want to buy stuff from them you know buy together with your friends so that you can divide the shipping because honey i'm not kidding when i said the international shipping is expensive so the item that i'm so excited about that i was I have to buy like you know, like it has been on my wish list since forever is this case here it is the snack skin like a brush case something like that I don't remember the exact name but I've been wanting this in forever and it always sold out and when I saw it and when I saw it on sale I was like I have to buy it I just have to because whenever I travel like whenever I go home like I always put my brushes in like like a makeup bag like other makeup bag but you know like the normal makeup bag is not hard like this so my brushes always bend like it always bend and I hate it so much and it keep on bending unless like you wash them you know if you wash them then only it will like go back to its like normal shape but it always bend I, I hate that so so much so, so buying this kind of like a hard case will prevent your brushes to bend you know to go out of shape and everything so for me it is like the most important thing because you don't want to keep on buying brushes right but brushes are not that cheap also like especially the big one the big brushes are always expensive so that's why i think it's good to take care of your brushes and spend a little bit money to you know properly store them like this and this one is not that expensive either like I think it's around twenty dollars if I'm not mistaken. And, and from what I seen is that like a, just a normal makeup bag is makeup cases is always expensive, like more expensive than this. And also if you don't want to store your brushes inside here, like since like it is huge, you can put a lot of stuff here. You can put like other like your makeup, you know, if you want to do your makeup on the go or if you want to put, you know, makeup on your car, anything, you can just put it inside here with your brushes and then you're good to go. I think it's a really practical to have these cases. I felt like it's a really good investment and plus it looks beautiful. Like it doesn't look cheap at all. It actually look expensive in my opinion it looks so sleek and i love it and also if you're not traveling or anything you can just put it on your vanity and you know it's cute okay it is cute you can just put it on your vanity and display it there and i actually also convince and pursue my friend to buy it because i think it's a really really good investment like i am not regretting buying this at all i think it's a really really good purchase and two of my friends also bought this too because of me because i said to them that you have to buy it like it is so good to have this and then they buy it <laughs> So the other thing that I bought from Morphe is this um, highlight and contour sponge. It is dirty because I use it just now. I use it twice already actually and I love it. I love it so so much. So this is how the sponge look like. I'm sorry it is so dirty but I just wanted to show you guys how it looks. And it is so so soft, so squishy, so like can you guys see it? Like, I love it. I actually love it more than I love this Eco Tool brush. Like, before this, I told you guys that I think it is a really good, you know, alternative for Beauty Blender, right? I think I love this one even more than this Eco Tool because it is more squishy, it is more bouncy, and I just, I love it so, so much more than this Eco Tool brush. Like, don't get me wrong, like, this is a good brush. Like, it, like, apply your makeup like easily it is good and everything but i just prefer this one a little bit more and i think it's a really really good dupe for the beauty blender like i don't think i will ever buy the beauty blender anymore because nowadays there's a lot of good sponge out there that's much more cheaper than this beauty blender like for example like this Murphy brush i love it like when i first use it i don't have any expectation to be honest like i just wanted to try this sponge actually from Morphe, but i don't have any expectation but when i first use it like apply like foundation on my face i was like oh this feels so good and it's, it's applying my makeup like so smoothly my 
foundation looks good and everything. I was like, oh, I actually love it. And then when I used it again today, I was like, yes, I'm determined. I really do love this. Like, it is so good. Like, I just, I love it. So, yeah. And as you guys can see, it have a flat surface so that it is easier if you want to bag or if you want to apply concealer, you do you, whatever you want to do. But just know that this sponge is good and I love it. I really do love it. The next item that I bought is a brush. I've been wanting to buy a new like a contour brush because I haven't found a good contour brush to be honest. Like I haven't found any like favorite brush for like contouring so that's why I bought this one and this one is the Morphe R10 brush because I've seen a lot of people seems to be like raving about this brush for contouring and that's why I bought it it feels so good so I have a high hope for this one and then the last product that I bought from Morphe is this Master of Metallic Cream Eyeshadow to be honest I don't know why I bought it <laughs> It is a really really impromptu purchase like just an instant purchase I I really don't know why I bought it I saw it like on the website and was like oh you know it's look cool so just add to cart and that's basically what happened and this one retail for $12 if I'm not mistaken so I thought, I thought like oh it's cheap so you know just add to cart and that is it so it comes with like a three shade inside here so it is a liquid eyeshadow so it's kind of similar like the colourpop supernova or the stila magnificent da 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 i'm not sure what the name is so let me swatch this on my hand oh, oh by the way this is the applicator if any of you guys are curious it is a small like applicator so this is the shade gold and this one is bronze and this is copper and by swatching them just now i can feel that they are so so pigmented so opaque like just one swipe and you can get a really really full opaque coverage i love this shade i actually love this shade and yeah i do think that the shade are pretty and the formula seems promising and they are cheap also you get three shade for ten dollars so i think it's really affordable so that it is for what i got from morphe oh by the way guys i'm so sorry if you guys can hear like a noises on the background just because i own my heater because it's so cold right now so that's why i turn on my heater so i'm so sorry about the noise on the background if you guys can hear it please pretend that you guys didn't hear it <laughs> so the next item that i wanted to show is from cult beauty i purchased some products from cult beauty and they were having kind of like a 30 percent off so that's why i bought it and then the best part is that because it is my birthday month like on november because it's my birthday month i get an additional 10 percent off coupon so i applied that coupon so totally i got every stuff here for like 40 percent off 40 percent off that's insane guys so that's why i ordered some stuff I didn't plan to buy anything from Cup Beauty at all because I don't think that I need any stuff. But then when I see that I got a 40% off, I immediately purchased some product. <laughs> and I'm not regretting it at all because I think it's like a really good purchase. Like I'm saving money, right? Like I got 40% off. Because you know, right? Makeup rarely goes on sale. So when I see that I got 40% off, like that, of course, I will buy them. Even though I'm not sure whether I need them or not, but 40% off, 40. So. <laughs> so the first product that I got is this Anastasia Beverly Hill Pencil Sharpener. Um, I've been wanting to buy like a good pencil sharpener, like since forever. Because I needed to sharpen my lip liner and eyeliner and stuff like that. And I heard a lot of people been saying that this is a good sharpener. But I feel like it's so expensive and I'm not ready like to spend that much money on just a sharpener. So when I saw this on sale, I immediately buy it because I've been needing one in such a long time. So that's why I bought it. Just a normal like makeup pencil sharpener. So I don't think I need to explain more, right? Just a normal sharpener. And then all the other stuff that I got from Cult Beauty is from Huda Beauty. I got like three 
falsies and one uh, lip liner this is the lip contour in the shade trend setter this is like their most famous shade because a lot of people have been raving about this especially this shade so that's why i bought it and like i said just now because i see it is on sale i bought it so this is the shade trendsetter and when i was watching this just now it applies so so smoothly and you know shida beauty can't do anything wrong in my opinion like in my eyes she is so so good in this makeup game like seriously like her makeup all her product is so so good the only problem that i got with huda beauty is that i felt like they are expensive but the product is so good so you know you have to spend money if you want to get a good product but if only i can afford all of them and then for the falsies i'm basically is just stocking up my favorite so i got two of the um harmony lashes i love these lashes so much because it is you know as you can see it is separate so you can just use how much you want depending on how voluminous you want your lashes to be you know and it is easy to apply because it is separately you can just apply one by one that's why i love it so i feel like if you want kind of like a longer looking lashes but still look natural this is a good option because i felt like it really does do that and then the next one is also my favorite style among all of their lashes which is samantha i feel like if i want a really really volumized like glam lashes this is the one that i always go to like i just love this i love it so much i just love this kind of like lashes style i do really love a wispy lashes so that's why i think it's pretty it's beautiful so if you guys haven't tried any huda beauty lashes i suggest you guys to try it because they are so good even though they are expensive but they are good and get it during sale if you can because they are good there's no way that you will disappoint with them it's called so the next product is from Korea. I'm just basically just stocking up my this one, this acne pimple from Cosrx. I bought like four of them because they are on sale and because I've been breaking out a lot lately because I've been stressing with my research and everything. I've been not getting enough sleep and then I've been eating all of the instant noodle and i've been breaking out a lot because of the stress and everything sometimes i even felt like it's graduating is really worth for all of the breakout that i'm having right now <laughs> because the amount of stress that i'm on for this research oh my god i need this <laughs> i have been using this for i felt like when i first released this I bought them immediately so I've been using it for years now because I really do feel like this make a different like if you apply it on especially on that white balm kind of like acne like the white head acne especially if the white part is already big like it already become big like if you apply this on top like it will reduce the scars that's what i felt it will like kind of like absorb all the oil and all the white thing and it kind of prevent it kind of like i'm not sh i don't know how to explain it but i really do think that it helps in healing like i feel like it will reduce the scar it kind of like fasten the process to like for the acne like to die you know something like that so i really do love this and i always stock it up when they're on sale then also got free sample stuff and i think that that's good about k beauty because they always get free sample i love that okay i do love them i hope a lot of western company do that too because it's hard to like put all your money you know to buy something new if you don't know whether the product will work well on you or not so i think that a sample is really really important and like duh everyone loves a free stuff why can't you make your customer happy for a while and then you take their money you get what i mean <laughs> the next product that i wanted to show is this one so it is from luxie so i bought the basic eye brush 
set and this one is their lash powder brush and both of them are their rose gold collection i bought the 502 lash powder brush and by the way all of their brushes are synthetic so if you prefer a synthetic brush you can buy from them because it is so soft i love how it fits right now can you guys see how soft it is so when i saw that they are having a 50 percent off deal of course i have to get it right like the like 50 percent okay 50 and a lot of people been loving these brushes so you know a good brush and they're 50 percent off why don't you buy them and then i get this basic eye brush set because i've been wanting to add more eye brushes in my collection because i felt like it's better to have a lot of eye brushes so that's why i bought this one and look at how cute the stand is oh by the way at the back it got all the brush number and names and everything so there are six brushes inside this set so the first brushes is the number 213 the eye shading brush so you know you can use it to apply shadow on your eyelid especially a shimmer or matte you know it's perfect to apply um shadow on your eyelid next one is the 231 small tapered blending brush it is a really really good brush especially to like blend a shadow on your crease one thing that i'm noticing with this all of these brushes is that it is small like and that's what i like like especially this like blending brush i love that it is pointy and it is small because i'm asian i don't have a lot of space on my eyes like normal like what people do and most brushes especially like these morphe brushes they are big okay so and since it's big it is like suitable for people that have a larger eye area so you can just puff it all over your eyes but because i have like a small area of you know to apply eyeshadow with this small brush i can really really like focus on where i want to blend my shadow look at how perfectly it fit on my crease oh i love this line i feel like all of this is really really asian eye friendly brushes because the size is like suitable for asian eyes that's the first thing that i'm noticing right now and then the next one is the 221 flat definer brush so you can use it like to like define your eyes to apply eyeliner or to conceal your eyebrow you know all that jazz and then the next one is 229 tapered blending brush like i said just now i love Love how small it is you really can focus where you want to apply your crease shade and i love it i love the size of these brushes it is not too small and it's not too big and like i said just now it is perfect for asian eyes and the next one is 207 medium angle shading brush and one thing i love about this kind of brushes like angle brush is that if you don't want to apply you know eyeshadow with this brush you can apply your nose contour with this brush because i feel like this shape really really does make like a nose contouring job easier so i really do love this kind of brush and then the final one is 215 small angle brush so you know you can use this brush to apply your eyeliner or whatever you want to do with it because i i rarely use eyeliner right now i prefer to not use eyeliner nowadays so i haven't been putting on eyeliner so i don't really know what i will use this brush for but we will see and the last product that i'll be showing in this video is this one and it is from sigma beauty so look at the packaging though the, when i first saw this like when it first arrived i was like oh my god i love this packaging so much the black and pink oh my god it speaks to me okay this combination speaks to me and by the way i love black pink like do you guys love black pink too because i love black pink i'm obsessed with them like i feel they are so so pretty okay moving on to the real purpose of this video so this is how the packaging looks like and it says beauty delivery sigma beauty so yeah and then this is it i haven't opened it yet because 
I'm really busy that I don't have time to open like play with all of this, okay? And I'm not sure because I already forgot but if I'm not mistaken, like they are having 30% off 30 or 35? 30? I'm not sure, something like that. I, I think that it is 30% off and then you get a free brush holder thingy here kind of like a brush case like just now so and this one is actually expensive when i saw it in their website so i was like oh that's a good deal like you know you get a discount for the brushes and then you can also get a free like brush case that is also expensive so you know i think that it's a really really good deal so that's why i bought it so from them i also bought another brushes surprise because I felt like brushes is not something you follow on trend, you know. I felt like brushes is an investment. So a good brushes especially is a really really good investment in like a long run. Like most of the time, I'm not saying that every expensive brushes is good. But most of the time, like a good brushes is expensive. Like of course there are some good drugs. So um, brushes, I'm not saying that like cheap brushes are not good. Okay, I'm not saying it like that. Like I love some of like my elf brushes even though they are cheap they are good but but i'm saying that especially if the good brushes are expensive of course you want to buy them when they are on sale right like when i saw this on sale i immediately buy them because i know i know the quality are good i know sigma brushes are so good but i didn't purchase them before this because they are expensive so i've been waiting for the sale and i felt like 30% is a really really good deal already so that's why I bought it because I feel like like I just said just now brushes is not something that you follow on trend it is something that is a staple in your collection that is an investment like you have to invest in a good brushes and then like your makeup will apply smoothly and easily like you get what I mean right you know there's a lot of cheap makeup on this holiday sale but sometimes it's kind of like go out of the trend and you don't really need them anymore because some, something new keep on coming up but it's a different case with like makeup brushes makeup brushes is not a trend okay like I'm saying it once again I think it's the third time I'm saying it but it is something that if it's good you buy them and especially if they're on sale you go run and buy them <laughs> so i felt like buying brushes on like a big sale like the black friday sale is a really good move like you guys can see um all of these brushes that i bought is an eye brushes because like i said just now i really want to add more eye brushes in my collection because i feel like i don't have enough eye brushes like for face brushes i think i'm i'm good for the face brushes mostly but i really want to add more like eye brushes so that's why i bought them so by the way if you haven't bought any sigma brushes before like me and <laughs> this is how the packaging look like it's so so well presentable by the way and i feel like that's why they are expensive too so you open them up and then you pull it out wow how cool is that I feel like it's so cool. I know I look so jacoon right now. By the way, I don't know how to translate jacoon in English. Oh, by the way, on the box and packaging, like it said here how to use it, how they recommend to use it, and you know, da 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 da. So, by the way, this is the Sigma E55 eye shading brush. Like it is recommend to use this to place color across the entire lid for an even and strong application of product. And I really love how wide it is, you know, to apply shade on the eyelid or also on the lower lashes. I feel like it's a really good brush for that. And then the next one is E38, which is a diffuse crease brush. And I feel like it's a really good brush to, you know, buff, you know, all the crease shade and everything. I love this. 
And the next one is E35. It is a tapered blending brush. Same with this one just now. It is good, you know, to like apply a crease shape and buff everything. And as you guys can see, it is a little bit longer than the one just now. This is the one that I'm so excited about. It is the ever so famous E40 tapered blending brush. And by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, they are so soft. Like they are so, so soft. Like this one is a really really famous brush and I feel like it's a really really good brush to apply like the first color that you want to apply the, the first like the best shade like you can just buff it all over the eyelid and you can you know apply it faster because it's big people have been really raving about this brush so that's why I'm most excited about this one and then this next one is actually I don't know why I bought it like seriously I don't know why I bought it at all when it first came I was like like when did I ever like purchase this you know this is the E50 Lush Fluff Brush and as you guys can see it's so big I order it because like in the picture it looked much smaller than this one and then when I saw it like in real life I didn't expect it to be this big at all like I was like what am I going to do with this brush it's so big and I have like Asian eyes I don't have that much eye space what am I going to do with this and to be honest I still don't know what I'm going to do with it because it's so so big and I felt like if I want to pack on shadow all over my eyelid I can achieve it by using this one faster because it's so big like i seriously didn't expect it to be this big at all i thought it's going to be like in the same size with this one this is the real technique um 200 brush like, i thought it's going to be in the same size with this one like the real technique brush but no it is much bigger so i don't know what i'm going to use this one for <laughs> but we will see i'm going to make it work because see my brushes are expensive so i need to use it i need to so i guess that is it for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm so sorry it is so spontaneous actually i just kind of sit down and you know show what i bought and basically that is it uh, if you guys have any question about any product that I bought, you can just leave it on the comment below and I will try to answer them all if you have anything that you want to ask, you know, if you want to like know my update whether I love the product or not, you can just ask me and I will answer it to you guys. And I'm also curious whether you guys want me to show more like K-Beauty product because I felt like I didn't show that I'm using like K-Beauty product in my YouTube channel. The main reason why I even started with makeup is because of K-Beauty product. Yeah, like K-Beauty makeup stuff is like the first makeup that I play with. So I really do love K-Beauty product. But I wanted to show you guys like what my favorite thing are, what my favorite liquid lipstick from, you know, K-Beauty. And if you guys up for it, I will totally film it for you guys because I actually purchased some other actually for K-Beauty too. So, you know, just let me know if you guys want to see that. And yeah, that is it for this video, I think. I don't know why I actually wanted to talk more because it's been a while since I sit down and talk about, you know, fun stuff with makeup. So I kind of wanted to talk more, but, but I feel I don't have anything else to talk about. So hmm, I'm kind of sad, but yeah. I think that is it for this video. I'm not forgetting anything, right? Hope you guys having an amazing day and happy holiday to everyone, especially the one that's celebrating Christmas. Happy Christmas and happy new year to everyone. And if you guys on holiday, <laughs> I'm so sad because I really wanted to go back home. Like I can't like, seriously when I was stressing with my research and my thesis and everything, I like I open a Asia website every single day and check ticket price because i really wanted to go home like for this i'm so homesick right now like even right now i'm so homesick i want to go back <sighs> but i cannot go back because the ticket is expensive and i don't really have holiday <laughs> i'm so sad but you know i just have to endure <laughs> till this march because i'll be graduating next year march and i'll be back to malaysia for good on april next year so this will be my last winter here in japan and
I don't know whether I should be sad about it or not because to be honest, I'm more happy than sad right now. <laughs> and I just cannot wait to go back to Malaysia. I know like everyone will tell me that oh you're going to miss Japan later, you're going to miss your student life. I know that but it's just that I don't I just can't I cannot control how I feel. I just felt like I want to go home right now, so that's that. Okay. <laughs> I am so off topic right now. So thank you so much for watching this video, especially if you're watching to the end. Thank you so much. I appreciate it so, so much. And please hit the like button if you like this video. And subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye! So in order, like for my order, in order for my order, <laughs> we got one in the shade. Oh. Really? So what's a handle? Savage, I'm killing them, second my million, stopping my paper, go brrrr, Rambo.